Hello, everyone, and welcome back to some more Mario Kart Tour. I am gonna do this. And this time, I'll pay attention to my coin count, I promise. So that way, the stream can end at uh, the appropriate time. Uh, Mario in the freaking Toad Egg Heart looks goofy. I don't know, man. The, the assortment of colors is hurting my eyes. Okay, not actually, but it just is not a good combination. I don't know. He looked better on the regular Toad card. The, mu the Mushmallow. Or so it's called, I think. No, I missed the items. Okay, 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 okay. Go. Oh, damn it. Well, that's fine. Is that a blue shell? I heard one. Wait a minute, maybe it was from my team. So it didn't hit me. It hit the person that was furthest in the green team, maybe. That's kind of cool. Okay. Honestly, I think you were pretty good with your commentary um, on your streams, yeah. You were doing pretty good. Okay. Oh, wait, what the hell happened? Oh, never mind. Go. Yeah, throw that car. Oh, it's Spyro. Was it mid? Capo. Okay, we got Luigi here. Feels neat to play Luigi because I don't get to do that. It always is neat. I'm always like, oh, it's neat to play this character because the game doesn't throw me a bone and give me the basics on the top shelf, man. Like, come on. I mean, I could do play as them if I wanted to, but no, I'm a top shelf man. I'll play what's good for the combos on the track so I can get more stuff. Even if most of that stuff won't even be used. Wait, really? That like the the actual game on your console runs at 10 FPS? What the heck? I thought Spyro Enter the Dragonfly was a good game. A mid game. Okay. Cloud. And this. I didn't think it was that bad. I don't remember it being that bad. I don't know. It was just an average game. I mean, I played it on the GameCube, so... Uh, I, I mean, then again, maybe that's the version you have. And maybe that has bugs, I just didn't remember. Honestly, all I really remember about it was there was a pink dragon that was like friends with Spyro or Spyro's girlfriend or something. And, um, the bad guy was this red dragon, ger generic red dragon guy. And, um, you could play as the other Spyro, like, animal people sometimes, like other games. And, um, I thought the frickin' hooded people looked kind of like the, the, the guys from Star Wars. Oh, wait, no, actually, I didn't think they lo I, I I thought the guys from Star- the, the jaw was from Star Wars. I thought they looked like the frickin' guys from Spyro. 
that would like heal your eggs or whatever. It might be a reference, I don't know. Oh, Hero's Tale. That's not the same game? Yeah, that's what I was thinking of. Yeah, I don't really remember which one is which, so. Yeah, the themes. They look a lot like Jawas, which, I mean, they're themes, so I guess that makes a lot of sense. They're basically the same thing. Yeah, I, I saw, like, Solar for the first time, and I was like, oh, it's the guys from Spyro. Toad. We gotta give him some love. Wait. Actually, what are my choices here? Okay, fine. I guess I'll use Rosalina. Bray. Lol. Okay, um. This water sure looks like water. Oh, I like this. That's, that's cool. Okay. I like this swirly umbrella. It looks fancy. Oh, um... I only really play two. And I think, like, a very small amount of one. I used to own the... Uh, Spyro 2. Um, and I played a little bit of it, and I also played... Like, a little bit of the first World of One, but, like, not a lot. I really gotta play more Spyro. I have reignited. I just haven't got around to it yet. Because, like, I don't know. I'm just... I gotta be in that mood. If they ever announce Spyro 4, finally, I'm just gonna play that. And play the reignited, and then... And then play Spyro 4, like I did with Crash 4. Like, I played Insane Train Trilogy, finally. After having waited so long to play that game. Because, I mean, I didn't own a PS4, and then it came to Switch, and then, um... I didn't get it, because... I didn't really... You know... Want to get it, I guess. Because it was on the Switch, and I was like, eh. But then I just settled with the Switch version. Because, you know what? The Switch version of Insane Trilogy looks pretty good. For what it is, it's fine. It's just, if you want, like, more, like... Poppy graphics, then you would play the other versions, but like it's not at all that a deal breaker. I'd say, like the graphics still look good for the Switch. Yeah, that's the version my brother owned, so I I played that. Since you know, why would I buy the same game again if we have it in the house? I mean, might as well, unless I really want to play the other version. Yeah, definitely. Now you gotta go for all the platinum relics, cat. Oh yeah, also, um... Your streams earlier were pretty fun. I didn't remember what your voice sounded like, but I think you kind of sound like Scorp, but also, like, not Scorp. Capo. You know what, I could use Dr. Mario here, but no, screw him. I'm using PD. He's PD is epic. I don't get to use him that much. Wow, I don't know. I, I hear a lot of people like the Legend of Spyro trilogy, even though they're kind of different from the original games. Like, I hear they're cool in their own way. A lot of people like the character Cinder. I, I don't know. At least my friend does, anyway. Uh, that, that's that's why I think of Cinder. Specifically. Bruh. Scorps, Scorps clone. If there was, like, UMC clone high, you would be the Scorp clone. Cap. Okay, wait. Oh yeah, I forgot this track was in the game again. Probably because Mario Circuit DS is kind of 
forgettable other than the castle in the background. I mean, it's just a bunch of trees, some basic fields, a cool pipe tunnel, which is also in Mario Raceway 64, so like, that's not original this track either. The only thing it really has going for it are the piranha plants in the background. Otherwise, it's an incredibly bare bones and basic track. Which is fine, I mean, it can be mid. Just not gonna be like, oh wow, I get to play on Mario Circuit. But yeah, I'm not like excited about it, but I don't hate it. Oh my god. Bro, they almost hit me. I'm gonna hit my team member like a freaking jerk because I want to be in first. Yeah, for now, I mean, at least, like, emulation might get you somewhere a little bit. Bro, Luigi! Luigi's freaking cat portrait is, like, popping out of the UI here. It's kind of funny. The um, freaking style of you, Mario, too, but. Yeah, Mario Circuit. I mean, I'd go play as Mario, but that's just me. He feels the same way with Mario himself, and I'm like, bro, I love Mario, why would you say this? I don't care if he's kind of basic, he's fun, he's Mario. Everyone loves Mario. Damn it. Yeah, Mario's epic, bro. I don't stand for this Mario slander. I like my funny Yahoo man. Speaking of raceways, we got Luigi Raceway, which I've never even seen before, because I... It didn't return in any other Mario Kart game, as far as I know, except for this one. And I didn't play 64. That's the only one I didn't play, because I never owned that one. This track is mid because they uh, they didn't keep in the Japanese version signs. Justice for Mario Boro. Bruh, I mean, you are kind of like Luigi. True, true. Bruh, are you freaking kidding me? 15 milliseconds? Okay, I, I hate you. Go screw you. I'm, I'm gonna kill this game, bruh. Bob the Ford. Oh, no, 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 I didn't. Ah! Okay, 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 hold up, sorry. Messed everything up here. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. Bruh. True, true. Bruh, where the heck is the freaking game? Okay, wait. Oh, there. 
No, just gotta full screen it. Okay. I'm gonna get like two milliseconds off this time, aren't I? Bro, I can't. The pressure, bro. I'm not gonna make it. Bro, that was even more horrible than the first time. I think. True, that'd be epic. And I, um, yeah, I can help you figure out. Uh, oh wait, never mind. I got it. That was that was better. Okay, next. Waluigi Stadium. Let's go. I gotta make my freaking thing brighter. It's not working. True. I mean, usually it's too easy, so I guess that's fine. Luigi. Oh yeah, I didn't check the shop yet today. Hmm. Oh wait, she has a mushroom cannon? Never mind, she sucks. I'd only get her if I was desperate. Well, Dr. Luigi is the only doctor I don't have. Why, why am I disservicing my boy here? Is Dr. L I'm gonna ask you next if Dr. Luigi is decent. That's epic. Okay, gonna get this balloon here. I like it. Right, it's all mid again. Yeah, sure, let's get Dr. Luigi. I don't care. They're not gonna release any good characters next tour anyway. Like, I'm just sitting here with 274 rubies, not using any of them. I might as well get something that I think is kind of cool. Yeah, let's get Dr. Luigi. Give my man a chance. And if I want something else, I'll get enough rubies for another character soon, so. True, true. Not in this game, but he does give you L's. Oof. 
I always thought PD sounded funny when he said that. Birdo! Okay, let's go. I mean, they could. I didn't- I surely didn't expect Poochie, but like... There's been a content drought for like a long time now. Like, they haven't really been releasing any new skins. And especially not new characters. Like, Poochie was like the first new character since like Petey. And Petey was like almost like a year before that, I think. I don't remember when Petey came out. But like, Petey was like... One of the last, like, actually new characters before that. Not like a skin. And even skins, they haven't been making new ones for that much lately. I mean, the new tracks are cool, but like... Where's the new content? Like, give us something! Not freaking rehash content that I don't want. You should probably check out those Mario Kart ranking videos I mentioned last time. They're pretty cool. Based opinion, man. Okay, okay, I gotta do the half pipes. Oh, dang it. Come on. True. There should have been Mario movie characters when the movie came out, because the there was the, the tour that released literally came out the same day as um the frickin' Mario movie. But they did the Yoshi Island tour instead or whatever. I mean that was a good tour, but like I wish we could have gotten the cross promotion. I, I I knew they weren't gonna do it because they're Nintendo. Why would they do anything cool like that? Like, come on. They would never. They're not Sega. Meanwhile, I got freaking Sonic Forces, where Ta Movie Tails is one of the best characters in my opinion. I still use him. To this day, I don't use any other character anymore. I just use Movie Tails because he gets me by, and he was epic. Oh, Sailor Daisy, that's cool. I mean, Nintendo at their peak can be cooler than Sega, but like Sega does cool stuff like all the time. So like, I don't know. It depends. I like both pretty equally. Also, I like these trees. They have an interesting shape. She's repping her boy Luigi by wearing a by having a cool car, a green car. Bro, that Poochie icon looks funny. <laughs> the dude is just smiling like. I don't know. He looked he looked kind of funny to me. Also, I honestly, I haven't really been uploading my church watch to YouTube lately because I really haven't had any time to put them together. Like, I have them all saved. I just, I'm falling into this, you know, gate here, like, where I have time to stream and I have time to play Zelda, but I don't really have time to do anything else because, like, I'm busy. I'm just busy, but I'll get around to it eventually. True. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I like, um... I mean, at least we're, we're gonna get a new Jet Set Radio, I think. It's pretty much solidly confirmed. I, 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 I mean, I'm positive it's gonna come. Because, like, there's that one leak with Sonic Frontiers... 
Well, um, basically there was a leak that had, um, early Sonic Frontiers footage of Giganto in a different area, and there was, like, a lot of fog effects. And it also had footage of the Persona 3 remake, which wasn't announced yet, but it was rumored for some time. And then there's also, they also had a Jet Set Radio, a new Jet Set Radio game there, which I believe they also announced was in the works, like, years ago or something, so I don't know. Yeah, the new Samba game looks pretty cool. I don't know if I would get it, but, I mean, it does seem cool. Like, I respect Samba. Samba looks fun, but... I have other games to buy. I'm still mad they never added Samba to freaking, uh... Monkey Ball, though, like... Like, come on, it's another Sega franchise that stars Monkey. And you didn't put him as a character? And Banana Mania? Like, come on, bruh. They should have kept putting more DLC. That would have been cool. I mean, I'm still happy with the ones we got. I thought they were pretty fun, but... Oh yeah, didn't they actually delist the DLC? I'm pretty sure they took down Morgana. And the other cool characters. No, I'm sure they're... Oh, uh, wait. No, I don't... I have the game on PS5. Sega literally owns Atlas, and you're telling me they took down Morgana? What the heck? I mean, I would have liked to buy the Morgana one, but I stopped playing that game anyway, so I can't say I'm too mad. Like, whatever, I guess. Morgana's funny cat. Um, it looked more like the original, um, Jet Set Radio, based on Beat's design. The, my only concern about it was, the game didn't have any shell shading in, at least the thing that got leaked, so, like, I don't know. Like, Jet Set Radio needs shell shading, it's part of its, like, very, you know, art style, it just... Didn't quite look right to me, but I imagine it might be a work in progress, too, so who knows? Like, maybe they just haven't gotten it working yet, I don't know. I just don't think it pops as much without the unique style. This is one of the best Mario circuits, in my opinion. I like how it has the cool cherry blossom trees. You can drive through the castle for like two seconds because somehow inexplicably they made it smaller and they gutted it of all of its rooms. Or they just made a very tiny replica castle which is just an entrance and that's it. That seems more plausible to me. I mean, Peach probably has a bunch of money to spend around. She just made an extra smaller replica of her castle for fun. That's my theory. Same thing for, like, other things that are racetracks. Like, is the Coconut Mall an actual mall? Or did they restructure the mall to, like, fit a racetrack? I'm gonna guess the latter. Like, like I, they have all these public events they, that they have sometimes where they have to restructure their whole, like, facilities to match a racing area for the Mario gang. Like, they're just causing that havoc. True, true, me too. I liked the Mario Kart 7 pre-release. It was fun. I was pretty... I was, I was excited for it. Not as excited for 3D... As I was for 3D Land, though. 3D Land was epic. I love playing that game on car trips. Um... Okay, I guess we're done already. I'm gonna go make, make, um, lunch, and then I'll play more Kingdom Hearts 2. That sounds like a good deal to me.
But yeah, I'll be back soon. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching the stream. Oh uh, yeah, true. Yeah, it's just Mario Circuit. Yeah, like the graphics on the 3DS were really good, honestly. Like for a handheld system at that time, it just looked nice. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching the stream. If you like what you saw, feel free to follow and check out the Twitter and Discord. I post updates to all my newest streams and you can chat and stuff there. I also have a YouTube channel where I um, post up uh, all of my Twitch VODs. I have a bunch of other Mario stuff. Um, what else? Oh yeah, I do, um, I have a lot of Sonic the Hedgehog content, Splatoon, Kingdom Hearts, and a lot more. So if that sounds pretty cool, feel free to check that out. Anyway, have yourselves a good one, and take care. I'll be seeing you in Kingdom Hearts 2 soon. Oh yeah, that's cool. I bet, I think he's playing Fall Guys right now, so that's neat. Fall Guys, woo!